Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I want to begin by thanking first uh, David Kenny and his team at Oregon Best. I think they're doing a great job and just really appreciate your leadership and your hard work. So thank you. They clearly put on a great event every year, but the rest of the year they run a critical research center for our state. In Oregon, we believe that economic growth and environmental stewardship are not mutually exclusive ideas. Oregon Best brings that to life, ensuring we are a leader in advancing Oregon's clean tech economy and sustainable development. David and his team are helping Oregon show the world that making smart decisions now is critical to building a more resilient and a sustainable economy for our future. Earlier today, actually just moments ago, I met with women founders and CEOs of several companies that have received support from Oregon Best. Uh, two of these companies out were Onboard Dynamics uh, from Bend and Rogue Rovers from Ashland uh, were invited to the White House two weeks ago. Uh, their founders, Rita Hansen and Melissa Brandao, had the chance to meet with President Obama. Uh, they're both here in the room today. I just wanted to offer them my congratulations. <laughs> and my understanding is that Oregon had more companies present than any other state but for California. So, yay, Oregon. Let's keep it up. Rita and Melissa and the other women I met with are great examples of Oregon entrepreneurship. Of the 35 Oregon best companies, 28% are founded by women, uh, certainly an impressive number given that in 2013, women started only 3% of the technology companies in Silicon Valley. So again, you know, we're certainly leading the way and I'm very proud of that. Um, I also want to applaud all of you for advancing Oregon's economy and all that we've done on the clean technology front. Uh, but most important, I'm looking forward to what's next. When we think of clean tech, we think of things like LEED certification, clean fuels, and energy storage. Yet, the next second step in innovation may come from a very well-established resource, our forests. Historically, forests have been a significant economic resource for our state, and I hope again that they will fuel the economic engine in rural Oregon, expanding opportunities for communities hit hard by the decline of the natural resource, uh, of the natural resource industries. Cross-laminated timber, or CLT as we call it, are massive engineered wood panels that are surprisingly strong cost competitive, aesthetically pleasing, and made from a sustainable resource. CLT is a product of advanced manufacturing processes that enables construction of a range of buildings, even wooden skyscrapers. Our friends in Europe and Canada are already using CLT and the world is taking notice. In fact, this podium that I'm standing on right now is built from CLT. The entire podium, I believe. Market demand for CLT is rising, and that presents a great new opportunity for Oregon. We are perfectly suited to this work. Our fo forests grow the most desirable species for use in CLT, and we recognize that if this product is going to hit the market, it made more sense for it to emerge from our state than any other state in the nation. If we can foster the innovation to grow and develop the advanced wood manufacturing industry, we have a chance to reinvigorate the natural resources-based economies that once kept our rural communities strong. Today, I am just excited to tell you that we intend to seize this opportunity. Oregon's universities, state agencies and nonprofits have been working together to make Oregon the first U.S. supplier of CLT. I'm very, very pleased to announce that after a great deal of research, more than $350,000 in state investment, 
and the commitment and vision of a family-owned rural Oregon company, D.R. Johnson, Oregon is now the first certified commercial producer of cross-laminated timber in the United States of America. Congratulations and great work. This is a really important milestone for Oregon and we are very grateful to Valerie Johnson's leadership at DR Johnson and to Oregon Best, Oregon State University, the University of Oregon, and everyone else, it's a large category, who helped put Oregon at the uh, cutting edge of CLT manufacturing. But this momentum needs our help if it's going to continue. CLT presents such a new paradigm in construction that building codes are still catching up with this innovation. Our codes allow the use of CLT, but each project is required to meet performance criteria for seismic, fire, acoustic, and other very critically important standards. This process usually costs $100,000 to $250,000 in performance modeling and testing. Oregon wants to help builders use CLT more often and prove that it's both safe and affordable as traditional building materials. To help make that happen, I am happy to announce a new design competition to encourage builders to help prove that CLT is the next step in clean technology innovation. The winner of this competition will receive $200,000 in funds and services to cover the required testing and documentation for their project. But those funds will do much more. This will help create testing data that can be used by future CLT projects. This work begins now. Starting today, you can go, like this very moment, you can go to Oregon Best's website and learn more about the competition and begin your applications on October 1st. I'd like to congratulate the National Center for Advanced Wood Products Manufacturing and Design for working with Oregon Best to make this exciting competition possible. The center is a new collaboration between state government, Oregon State University, and the University of Oregon. Let's see what Oregon can do. Can do. Working together, I'm confident we can move the state and the country forward. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon, and good luck in the competition.